Hey everyone, it's Mark for Windows Central, and this is the Lenovo Idea Center Stick 300. It's a $99 PC and a stick, just plug it into a TV or a monitor via HDMI, and you have an affordable and pocketable device running Windows 10. Should you buy it? Watch the review to find out. The Lenovo Idea Center Stick 300 comes in a packaging with the size of most recent phones. Inside you get the PC stick, micro USB cable, HDMI extension cable, AC adapter, holder, and some documents including the quick start guide and warranty information. There is no configuration options for the Stick 300. The specifications include an Intel Atom 1.33 GHz processor, 2 GB of RAM, Intel HD graphics, 32 gigs for storage, wireless ABGN, and Bluetooth 4.0. The Idea Center stick easily fits in your pocket, measuring at just 3.94 by 1.5 by 0.59 inches, it weighs at just 0.1 pounds. It's made of plastic and only comes in black. On the right side, there's a USB 2.0, micro USB slot for power, and the power button. The left side has the micro SD slot for more storage. Up front is a power indicator and a vent for a small fan inside. The top of the stick has the HDMI connector, which you can plug directly into a TV or monitor. If there isn't enough clearance to insert the HDMI connector, you could use the HDMI extension cable for a better fit. You could also use the holder to keep things tidy. The Idea Center needs to be powered, so you can either use the AC adapter or plug the micro USB cable to a USB port on the display if it has one. The latter is a lot more convenient because the included cable isn't very long. Setting up the Idea Center Stick 300 is easy. Connect the wired or wireless mouse to the USB port for initial setup, and then connect a keyboard via Bluetooth afterwards. There's also only one USB port available, so you'll either need a USB hub to fit a wired keyboard. One thing you need to keep in mind is that you won't hear any audio if the monitor you connect doesn't have built-in speakers. This is easily solved by pairing it with Bluetooth speakers. The Lenovo Idea Center Stick 300 comes with Windows 10 Home. We purchased it from the Microsoft Store, and yes, it is indeed a signature edition PC. This means no pre-installed bloatware or apps from Lenovo. There is a Lenovo folder in the Start menu, but it only includes a link for the user guide. Other Lenovo laptops I've played with usually include a trial of McAfee LiveSafe and other apps from Lenovo that I don't care about. At its very low price point, I don't expect the Idea Center Stick 300 to be a power horse. I can watch YouTube videos and Netflix without lag, but I notice some slowdowns when switching between apps and opening multiple windows. We can blame the small 2 gigs of RAM for that. Other everyday tasks like checking emails, Twitter, and writing Word documents work fine. There are plenty of games from the Windows Store that work well with the Idea Center Stick. Some examples are Minion Rush and Hill Climb Racing. But without a dedicated graphics card, it'd be silly to even try to install Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, or other demanding games from Steam. There is a fan on the Idea Center Stick 300, and you might be able to hear it in a quiet room at about arm's length. After about 30 minutes of browsing and watching Netflix, it reaches about 110 degrees. You're not physically touching it though during usage, so most people won't notice. So what's the verdict on the Lenovo Idea Center Stick 300? At just $99, it can be a great device for the living room. Hook it up to a TV and you'll get more features than media streamers such as Roku 2 or Apple TV because you're getting a full PC running Windows 10. The Idea Center Stick 300 can also be handy for those who are frequently on the road. Carrying a PC stick is more portable than a laptop. But of course, you'll need to hook it up to a monitor, mouse, and keyboard, which may not always be easily accessible. There are also performance issues and it's noticeable when you have multiple apps or windows open. Including more RAM would have been ideal, but that would have increased the price point that Lenovo wants to target. At just $99 though, it's really hard to complain about the Idea Center Stick 300. That's all for now. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. I'm Mark for Windows Central. Thanks for watching.